I guess today we're going to fix a non-clicking trackpad. This computer right here works fine. As you can see, I can scroll the mouse, but anytime I try to click on something, uh, there's no response whatsoever. Um, so let me just show you this. This is a track, a crack trackpad from another unit. Um, it uh, looks kind of bad, but uh, this trackpad actually still works. Uh, the problem with it is that when it was cracked, uh, this sensor right here, right underneath, this trackpad goes on like that. Um, this this little uh, button right there, that's the one that makes the click. Uh, it wasn't getting a good connection uh, because it was just sitting like half a millimeter off. And uh, these things are so sensitive that if it's sitting just a little bit off, it's not going to be able to create a correct click. So underneath, once we get to the unit, you will see right here, um, there will be a tensioner screw. And that screw is in charge of how much tension there is or uh, how much uh, loose play that there is. And uh, we got to find the Goldilocks zone where it's just perfect uh, so that the clicking uh, will be registered. All right, so let's go ahead. And if you have a computer like this where you can't click, you can't really shut it down, just hold the power button for three seconds uh, and you'll see a window pop up. So I just tap over to the shutdown button there and then I'll press enter. That'll shut the unit down. Once we shut it down, we can just flip it over here, press this button, lift this up, lift up the battery, and here we'll have full access to our trackpad. Now as you can see, underneath the trackpad looks a little different. Uh, and you can see right there, that's the tensioner screw. For this, we're going to need a Y0 screwdriver. This is a tri-prong screwdriver, uh, and it's going to be able to untighten this out a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to lift this halfway up, get our hand under there, and feel the clicking. as we tighten this screw. Now what you want to do is you want to play around with this for a little bit um, and just keep in mind that once you reinsert the battery okay, uh, this trackpad is going to have a flush surface to push up against so it's going to click a little differently so we want to leave it just a little loose here not too loose um, but we want to definitely be able to hear the clicking and the bouncing around so I think that feels pretty good we're going to give this a try. This might uh, take you multiple attempts uh, so don't be afraid to play around with it for a minute. Okay, let's see if... As you can see, it feels nice and clicky. That should be registering the click. Yeah, we have response. So that's about it. All right, thanks for watching.